Hello everyone, I'm so pleased to be back with you. Um, it's been a few weeks and it's just because I feel like I've had to really pray over some of the things the Lord's shown me. Uh, some things have been very deep and um, has, has, has required prayer and waiting on the Lord. But the vision I had this morning I believe is much more straightforward and uh, really amazing. Uh, so this was today, 19th of October, uh, a Friday. And the vision I had during the night was of a wooden fence. And as you can see by my little drawing, which is I apologize for, um, that is meant to be a squirrel. <laughs> um, there was a squirrel sitting on the fence. And then there was an arrangement of beautiful spring blossom that somebody had made and attached to the fence beside the squirrel. And then I believe there was a nest. I must say that I was just a little bit unsure because it was a flash vision about the nest. But I'm almost certain there was a nest also just to the right of the blossom. And as I thought about this vision um, during the night, um, I began to think of the fact that a, a squirrel, to me, um, will is very industrious and when the fruit and the nuts are available they will squirrel them away into their nest for a later date and so that term squirrel away stuck to me and this morning i looked it up and found some definitions so there that is what i found um, so as i thought squirrel away means to save something for later to hide goods away for a later date to put something in a safe or secret place. And I was thinking about that safe and secret place and was thinking about um, the nest that I saw. And that is what the squirrel does. The, the squirrel will save its um, nuts for a later date by squirreling away into a nest or to the hollow of a tree. Now when I thought about the blossom, I think the Lord is just saying uh, by showing me that that um, we are in the season now because in New Zealand where I live it is springtime and the blossom uh, was given to, to me to just make me aware that he is talking about the now. So I think there is an emphasis that we are supposed to be squirreling things away. And interestingly enough, brothers and sisters, later that night, several hours later, I heard a word from the Lord. And I'm going to show you now what that was. What I heard was, economies will fall. So that very much goes with that theme of squirreling things away while we can. Now, um, one of the things I've noticed recently is that the Lord has been giving me themes over and over again to reinforce what he's trying to tell me. And if you remember, three months ago, I put out a video um, and it has a picture of a New Zealand $1 coin stuck to an adhesive pad. And the interpretation of that vision that I was given was that money was going to be hard to come by. It was going to be hard to pick up. That's why he showed me the vision of the coin on the adhesive. And so when I saw this vision this morning about squirreling things away and economies falling, it reminded me of that um, initial vision I had three months ago of the New Zealand dollar coin and how he told me um, will reinforce that theme of money being hard to come by. Now, since then, in between these two visions, I was given another word from the Lord, um, which I haven't shared with you, and I'd like to share that now. And this is why I'm showing you the New Zealand one penny coin. And this is from 1964. Because um, I'll just look at the date. It was the 11th of September. I was given the word penne. P-E-N-E. -E. I saw it spelt in my vision and I heard the word penne. And uh, this word uh, means penny in Maori. 
and Māori are the native peoples to our land, New Zealand. Now this is not something I was really familiar with so I had to look it up. Um, I remember when I was young the currency being changed over from uh, the pence and penny and pound to the New Zealand decimal system. But um, I had to look it up and a one penny coin was one hundredth of a pound. And as I thought about that back in September, I felt the Lord was once again saying that the value of our money um, was going to drop, that it was only going to be a portion of its value that it is now. So just as the penny is just a hundredth of a pound, it is also way less than the current New Zealand dollar. So um, these are just reinforcements or confirmations of the visions that have come in a group. And so I really am starting to take notice of what the Lord is saying in this regard to the economies falling and the, the drop of um, our monetary value. And so going back to the vision I saw today, so just a recap of that vision. I saw the squirrel, I saw the beautiful spring blossom, which I think indicates the season is now, and then the picture of the nests, the squirrel's nest, and the feeling that we should be squirreling um, goods and um, food and any other essential products away. Now, brothers and sisters, the Lord has never told me this in the last few years, up until just the last three months. And I know many, many Christian brothers and sisters have given warnings about economies falling and about having to put food in storage. And I've never felt the Lord has pointed me to this before. And in fact, today is the first time that I think I feel he is asking me to actually start storing things away. I've always resisted doing this because I feel that if I'm wrong, then that food will be wasted. Um, I don't want things to go out of date. Uh, but I have got a little bit of extra surplus goods um, in a separate cupboard in my house. Um, but I think... Uh, that possibly I will be just storing a bit more away uh, now that I've had this vision. So I don't think we need to panic, but I just think we need to keep our ear close to the Lord. We need to keep this in prayer and just ask him from your own perspective whether you should be doing this. Because it might not be for all. Um, it might be uh, that something in our own personal lives is um, going to come up where we're going to need to, to st have a bit of extra put away. But um, because of the word that he gave me, economies will fall, and with the extra visions, I just feel that I, we should take note. So uh, brothers and sisters, it's my pleasure to share this with you. Take it to the Lord in prayer and ask him what you should do. Um, but many blessings to you and I'll probably will put out some more videos shortly because there are other things that the good Lord has shown me that I would love to share with you. Blessings.